Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is John Mallory, and I'm a systems engineer here at Palo Alto Networks. Today, we will be diving into a one-stop shop for visibility, device management, and threat intel of your entire security infrastructure. Let's waste no time as we jump right into Strata Cloud Manager's Command Center. Before we dive into Strata Cloud Manager, let's first see how to get there. Navigate to apps.paloaltonetworks.com and log in with your user credentials. After logging in, if you have successfully purchased licensing for Strata Cloud Manager, you will be able to click it from the following screen. After clicking on the icon, the loading process will initiate and you will be landed straight into Command Center. Before we get detailed, I'd like to take a moment to explain exactly what Strata Cloud Manager is. The problem we have seen as a company is that organizations struggle to manage network security due to increasing complexity caused by the use of numerous tools, sensors, and management interfaces over time. What we are doing with Command Center is unifying the entire network security landscape through the Strata platform to gain unprecedented visibility. With this, we can clearly see and understand assets and threats across an organization's entire security estate, while at the same time being able to gather actionable threat intelligence so that exceptional security and network performance optimization can be achieved. As you've probably already guessed by now, this is all done in real time using rich telemetry data from our Strata platform. One of my favorite integrations in Strata Cloud Manager is how everything is powered by AI in real time using custom built machine learning algorithms preventing threats from data gathered from over 85,000 Palo Alto Networks customers. Now, as you can see from the summary dashboard, we currently have real-time data collection across the entire next generation firewall and secure access service edge deployments with contextual insights for all apps, all users, and all devices. From the left-hand side, you'll notice a list of IoT devices within your network and the bandwidth they're using, including the number of users that are currently connected and how much traffic they're using. You're also able to see data and traffic transfer of other devices outside of these two categories. And by clicking into it, you can get a further breakdown of internal and external host. One thing I think that we've done really well with Strata Cloud Manager is that pretty much everything that you see is either clickable or takes you to a relevant section describing more in detail or has a subcategory that can be dropped down even further. In the middle of the summary screen, you're able to see the traffic that is currently flowing through the next generation firewalls and the Prisma access locations that are currently deployed. On the far right is where the traffic is ultimately ending up, whether it's going to generalized internet applications, sanctioned and unsanctioned SaaS applications, or private applications. By clicking into one of these categories, you're able to see more information from the top down, you're able to see which applications are using the most bandwidth, in this case, web browsing, and by hovering over it, you can see how many hosts are using this application as well as how much data is being transferred in this application to and from your client and server. Also take notice at the top of the screen where you're able to select a specific time range of the data that is relevant to you and that you want to see. Before moving on from this screen, also notice that you can see the total number of threats that are blocked and alerted upon in the bottom left. If an organization currently has a license for ADEM, Autonomous Digital Experience Management, you'll be able to see user performance in the user experience section in the bottom center. Our ADEM is able to calculate device health, such as laptop Wi-Fi statuses, as well as local network connection issues. Our ADEM is also able to determine the health of a node going through Prisma Access and the health of the actual application and its availability on the web. Now, clicking over to the Threat Summary page, we can see the total threats that are affecting our network in the agreed upon time frame. A similar breakdown occurs where we see the end users on the left and which applications they were going to on the right. Notice, however, the difference in the center. In this case, what we're seeing is Cloud Deliver Security Services from Palo Alto in which security service was able to identify the threat. Again, all of this is able to be clicked on and can take you into a greater detailed page. The last call out that I want to make you aware of here is the introduction of our Precision AI Copilot. By clicking on the Copilot icon in the top left corner, we open the possibility of having an intelligent chat with our friendly support client. 
it should be noted that our co-pilot is built from the ground up, as are all of our Palo Alto product offerings. Copilot is able to answer questions, providing helpful contextual clues and recommendations. Copilot learns from every single interaction with a user and is getting better and smarter every day. Ultimately, the goal of our Copilot and Precision AI is to be able to autonomously build out policy, protecting your network and security infrastructure by working with you, the end user, and learning specifically about how to best construct your security posture. Let's ask our friendly co-pilot how many C2 attacks we're seeing this week. After a moment, we can see the response. Thank you, co-pilot. Now by moving over to the left column and selecting the second icon, will take us into the Activity Insights. From the Activity Insights overview, we're able to see relevant information at a glance. From this page, you may notice the top applications that are traversing your network, as well as their application categories. Scrolling down, we can see the top threats that are currently affecting the network with the selected time interval. A couple other callouts here is total traffic usage, as well as the top roads and sides at the bottom. Now let's scroll back up and change the time range from three hours to seven days. Now we will have a greater collection of data that we can work with over a longer time interval. From here, let's say that we want to be able to determine users within our network that are using the most data at a glance. From Activity Insights, click over to Users. And now that this page is loaded, we're able to see the total number of connected users, those that are considered risky, which are their users that are potentially impacted by threats. And by scrolling down, we can see more of a traditional log format for the top users within our network. It should be noted that all of this information is able to be exported through Excel or PDF format. Those buttons are located here at the top of the screen, and if the page supports it, those will be visible. This information can also have automatic reporting set up as well, just in case your boss is wanting a weekly report of all this fancy information you've just discovered. What we're trying to emphasize is a user-friendly GUI that is simple to understand and get the information that you need when you need it. Now let's click into the first user to get some more information. As this page loads up, take note again of the time range in the top left. Now, looking at Mr. James Lewis, we're able to see the total number of threats that were blocked and or alerted on with this user. Now looking down further, we can drill down more specific information on those threats, total number of sessions, category, their names, as well as the threat IDs, which Cloud Deliver Security Service picked up this threat information, etc. And from the top right, you can see if we hover over the paper download icon, it says download PDF. Another thing that I forgot to mention is this add filter button. In case there's more specific information that you're needing to filter on or query, or you just want to display less information. Now let's take a quick look at the third column, dashboards. There is a lot of information here, so I will try to keep it brief. The first thing you'll notice across the top are the different dashboards that are currently selected and available. You can enable more dashboards per your preference by dropping down the more dashboards button on the top right. Let's say we want to add pan OS CBS and on-demand BPA. You'll see these different dashboards available at the top. Also take note that you're able to drag and reorder many of the dashboards at the top. Device health dashboard will give you an overall scoreboard of how your firewalls are doing, whether hardware or software. The CDSS Adoption Dashboard will show you the total number of Cloud Deliver Security Services within your network infrastructure, which ones are activated and configured, and which ones are following Palo Alto's best practices on all roles. Clicking over to the Security Posture Insights Dashboard, this allows us to see, as the name suggests, the current security postures of our hardware and software firewall devices. The security scores are determined by Palo Alto's best practices. Often you will see that anything with less than a 100% score will typically have alerts associated with it. Now let's click into one of these. From the incidents and alerts page that we just went to, you're able to see all alerts for this current firewall based on order of severity by default. Looking at one of these rules, we see for example that no security policy rules block outbound traffic to known high risk addresses. Strata Cloud Manager has given this alert a priority of two meaning that it is of significant concern and should be addressed in a timely manner. Now let's click into this critical alert. 
From here, you're able to gather more information, such as the impact of the device and when the alert was created. At the bottom, you'll notice guided remediation on how to resolve this alert. This is a feature that we're very proud of as it cuts down on the time it takes an administrator to look up how to resolve a priority security issue within their network infrastructure. Also notice the hyperlinked related help articles on the right hand side. If related help articles are applicable to the current alert, the link will take you to those related articles from Palo Alto Network's live community forums. From the left hand column again, let's go back to incidents and alerts and click on long viewer. If you are familiar with our firewall and or panorama product, you will notice that this view is similar to the monitor tab on those UIs. This page also has columns that can be arranged to your liking as well as the opportunity to export to view later or save for records. This is helpful especially if you do not have a current log forwarder and rely on your next generation firewall solely to collect logs for you. Strata Cloud Manager also gives you the ability to monitor your branch sites, your data centers, etc. by hovering over the monitor tab on the left and selecting your choice. For demo purposes, let's go into branch sites. As you can already tell, this page can be extremely beneficial for diagnosing connectivity issues. You're able to see the different Prisma access nodes at the bottom of the screen, whether the tunnels are currently up and active, as well as the BGP routes at their specific locations. You're also able to see their service status. At the top, you're able to see total bandwidth consumption, and by hovering over a certain point on the time scale, you're able to see more specific information for a given interval of time. For this video, the last thing that I want to show you is the Manage column on the left-hand side. Strata Cloud Manager also functions as a management tool for all of your next-generation firewalls as well as Prisma access locations, being able to push security policy, rules, objects, all from one centralized GUI. Now you may be thinking to yourself, John, are you saying that this is a replacement for Panorama? Well, not quite. Well, not yet anyway. Although we do have more and more feature parity with Panorama Weekly that's integrated into Strata Cloud Manager. For more complicated and precise deployments, you may still wish to use Panorama for overall management of your next generation firewalls. Eventually, Strata Cloud Manager will have the capabilities to do most, if not all, of what Panorama is currently able to do. But we will save that conversation for a much later time. For now, notice under configuration if we click on NGFW and Prisma Access, we are immediately taken to an overview of this dashboard site. As I hover across the top of the screen, take note of the different subcategories and the different configuration categories that are available to you, the administrator, in our next generation firewall and Prisma Access dashboard. From Security Services, let's click into Security Policy. From here, you're able to see how you would go about the creation of your own customized security policy. And from this page, you could push it to selected or all next generation firewalls and or Prisma access locations by utilizing the push config in the top right. Now, because this is an internal demo lab environment, this functionality has been disabled for me. All for the best though, as I don't want to brick our lab environment. That would not be good. <laughs> I hope that you have enjoyed this short presentation of Strata Cloud Manager's Command Center. A couple of worthy callouts that I did not mention are the ability to have a ticket created from within Strata Cloud Manager itself. If your environment currently has Salesforce, you're able to have guided and automated ticket generation so that you, the administrator, can have more time to focus on your security infrastructure and needs. We are currently working on integrating more ticket generation platforms for use with this feature. Another call out is that Strata Cloud Manager has the ability to tell you up to seven days if a device in your current Strata security infrastructure is going to be negatively impacted or not. A scenario that is common to consider is the addition of more bandwidth flow within your network Although this may be something that is unknown to you as the administrator, such as more users coming into the network, more patching and testing from the code development team, a new application that just got approved for use within your network, whatever it may be, Strata Cloud Manager's proactive remediation is able to notice this trend and alert you to make the necessary resolutions, which are already recommended for you to fix this potential issue. Thanks again for joining me, John Mallory, with Palo Alto Networks as we briefly viewed Palo Alto Network Strata Cloud Manager platform. If you want to know more about this product or have further questions, please refer to the documentation or the description below or check out my YouTube channel for more Palo Alto how-tos.